the second test I went on in 1951, where our writer <laughs> talked to the commander of the test, was saying what kind of good shots we can make, and, and uh, he said, well, why, why can't we have an airplane follow behind the drop airplane, and the following airplane will be directly over the blast when it goes off. So then the boss said to me, he said, I got a good job for you. He said, you get in the nose of that airplane and take a picture of that bomb right above it. So I did that four times. And the first time, <laughs> they'd say bombs away, okay? And then they could give you a count of how long it's gonna be before the bomb goes off. And you wear a pair of big goggles that were a rubber frame with an almost opaque lens in it. And I thought, well, I gotta keep steering the camera and, because the airplane's moving around. And, and so, I, well, I'll wait till minus one and then I'll put on my goggles. And so the count gets down to about three and I reach up and, and it goes to two and I go to one and I rip the lens right out of the goggles. <laughs> it was a plastic lens. <laughs> Panic set in and I slapped my hand over my eyes and when the flash went off, I could see the bones in my fingers. 